Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at a Bachmann locomotive. This is a steam locomotive, a 460 Baldwin locomotive. Now, this is equipped with DCC and sound value, which means you have a nice limited function sound decoder in here. MSRP is $399, but don't let that scare you. There are deep discounts on Bachmann products online at your brick and mortar hobby shops, etc. So you can find this in the low twos. Now again, this, like I said, this is equipped with DCC and sound value. So we'll see what we get in this Union Pacific locomotive. This is number 1429. So let's get started right now. All right, let's get started with the unboxing here. So first time coming out of the box. It's been sitting with me for a while, just haven't gotten around to it. You got Bachman's box front, with nice red. Back talks about their DCC commander, or DCC, uh, DC with easy command. DCC with easy command. You got a quick start guide, one year limited warranty. You can put in for a Bachman catalog, Williams catalog. Got your warranty card that you fill out inside. And DCC on board cheat sheet, exploited parts diagram. And that is about it. Lots of documentation though. And then you have the locomotive itself, which looks like it's already connected, so that's good. No connecting to do. Just going to go ahead and set this down outside of the plastic and take a closer look. I did have some soft plastic inside, but let's zoom in and take a look at some detail. All right, nice and zoomed in. We can take a look. You got a Bachman Easy Mate coupler up front. That's a plastic coupler with spring knuckle coupler there. You've got smoke box door with 1429 on the front, LED head, high mounted headlight here. Got the pilot, step pilot there. Coupler cut lever. You got the leading trucks up here. You have smokestack, builder's plate on the side. Walkway doesn't have any safety tread or anything, but nice, or nice detail along the side. Sand and boiler domes here. Bell mounted up front is fixed, doesn't move. Dynamo, get the drivers along the side there. Nice drivers. There are no trailing trucks on this model, but you do have a uh, cab window windshield or wind deflector, I should say. Window opened up window, sunshade. You've got a vent up top that doesn't move. And since this is all connected, we'll take a little back peek at the back, but you can possibly get a glance at the back head boiler detail there. You got a coal load inside the tender, ladder, water hatch, back step here, coupler cut lever, again another easy mate coupler on the back step, steps on the tender to go up. And you've got a nice tender connection here. Two different holes you can put it in there for close coupling or further out coupling for those tighter curves. Again, more detail along the side there. Got back head boiler detail inside that I think I may have mentioned already. And whistle. So overall, pretty nice detailed locomotive, but let's get an operation so we can listen to some sounds. All right, I have it powered on so you can hear some of the sounds. Check the headlight here. F0, nice bright LED headlight. One is the bell. Two is the whistle. F3 is the short whistle. F4 is steam release. F7 is the dimmer, dims the headlight out. And F8, if you didn't hear, was mute. I'm able to just shut that down there. Turn it back on. So that's pretty simple for the functions. Very easy to tell. Now let's go ahead and see how it moves under DCC command and check the motor control. 
All right, one speed step. Took a second for the decoder to pop in for a chuff there. Two. Looking like two chuffs per revolution when I think it's supposed to be four. Three. Three chests per revolution now. Speed step four and speed step five. Just want to check the slow motion of it and one backwards. Two. Three. Four. And five. So at very slow speeds there tends to be a lurch. Hasn't been broken in. I don't know if that would help or not, but overall there you go. That's one speed step, a little bit of a lurch. A little tiny bit of a hesitation, but not much and not bad for such a small locomotive. So there you go, one speed step. Pretty good motor control, pretty quiet as well there's no motor noise over the actual sound of the locomotive well that's so much for the little engine that could a pretty cool bachman 460 baldwin locomotive you saw and overall nice detail the fact that it has a little bit of hesitation at slow speeds nothing major didn't get to break it in so i don't know if that would improve or not uh, sound is nice out of the box both the volume and the crispness of sound there's no rattling or resonating of the sound so I like the sound out of the box. The fact that it has uh, a few features, a few sound features, including the hiss, the short whistle, the bell, etc., um, at a value price of the low 200s. Um, so overall, nice locomotive. It's not a big locomotive by any means. That's why I call it the little engine that could. You saw the weight spec and the, the pull test spec. It's not gonna pull a whole lot either, um, but they're not made to pull long consists. So with that said, guys, I'll let you go with a run by little slice of my layout all zoomed in so you can see the locomotive run by and we'll see you next time right here on my channel. Take care.